A5 Union and its Territory Articles 1 to 4 under Part I of the Constitution deal with the Union and its Territory. Union of States Article 1 describes India, that is, Bharat as a Union of States rather than a Federation of States. This provision deals with two things, one, name of the country, and two, type of polity. There was no unanimity in the Constituent Assembly with regard to the name of the country. Some members suggested the traditional name, Bharat, while others advocated the modern name, India. Hence, the Constituent Assembly had to adopt a mix of both, India, that is, Bharat. Secondly, the country is described as, Union, although its constitution is federal in structure. According to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the phrase, Union of States has been preferred to, Federation of States for two reasons, one, the Indian Federation is not the result of an agreement among the states like the American Federation, and two, the states have no right to secede from the Federation. The Federation is an union because it is indestructible. The country is an integral whole and divided into different states only for the convenience of administration. One, according to Article 1, the territory of India can be classified into three categories, one territories of the states, two, union territories, three, territories that may be acquired by the government of India at any time. The names of states and union territories and their territorial extent are mentioned in the first schedule of the constitution. At present, there are 28 states and 9 union territories. The provisions of the constitution pertaining to the states are applicable to all the states in the same manner too. However, the special provisions, under part 21, applicable to the states of Maharashtra, Gujarat, Nagaland, Assam, Manipur, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Sikkim, Mizoram, Arunanshal Pradesh, Goa and Karnataka override the general provisions relating to the states as a class. Further, the fifth and sixth schedules contain separate provisions with respect to the administration of scheduled areas and tribal areas within the states. Notably, the territory of India is a wider expression than the Union of India because the latter includes only states while the former includes not only the states but also union territories and territories that may be acquired by the government of India at any future time. The states are the members of the federal system and share a distribution of powers with the center. The union territories and the acquired territories, on the other hand, are directly administered by the central government. Being a sovereign state, India can acquire foreign territories according to the modes recognized by international law, i.e., session, following treaty, purchase, gift, lease or plebiscite, occupation, hitherto unoccupied by a recognized ruler, conquest or subjugation. For example, India acquired several foreign territories such as Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Goa, Daman and Diu, Puducherry, and Sikkim since the commencement of the constitution. The acquisition of these territories are discussed later in this chapter. Article 2 empowers the parliament to admit into the Union of India or establish new states on such terms and conditions as it thinks fit. Thus, Article 2 grants two powers to the parliament, a, the power to admit into the Union of India new states, and b, the power to establish new states. The first refers to the admission of states which are already in existence, while the second refers to the establishment of states which were not in existence before. Notably, Article 2 relates to the admission or establishment of new states that are not part of the Union of India. Article 3, on the other hand, relates to the formation of or changes in the existing states of the Union of India. In other words, Article 3 deals with the internal readjustment inter se of the territories of the constituent states of the Union of India. Parliament's power to reorganize the states Article 3 authorizes the Parliament to a. form a new state by separation of territory from any state or by uniting two or more states or parts of states or by uniting any territory to a part of any state b. increase the area of any state c. diminish the area of any state d. alter the boundaries of any state and e. alter the name of any state. However, Article 3 lays down two conditions in this regard. 1. A bill contemplating the above changes can be introduced in the parliament only with the prior recommendation of the president, and two, before recommending the bill, the president has to refer the same to the state legislature concerned for expressing its views within a specified period. Further, the power of parliament to form new states includes the power to form a new state or union territory by uniting a part of any state or union territory to any other state or union territory. 3. The president, or parliament, is not bound by the views of the state legislature and may either accept or reject them even if the views are received in time. Further, it is not necessary to make a fresh reference to the state legislature every time an amendment to the bill is moved and accepted in Parliament 4. In case of a union territory, no reference need be made to the concerned legislature to ascertain its views and the Parliament can itself take any action as it deems fit. It is, thus, clear that the Constitution authorizes the Parliament to form new states or alter the areas, boundaries or names of the existing states without their consent. In other words, 
the parliament can withdraw the political map of India according to its will. Hence, the territorial integrity or continued existence of any state is not guaranteed by the constitution. Therefore, India is rightly described as an indestructible union of destructible states. The union government can destroy the states whereas the state governments cannot destroy the union. In USA, on the other hand, the territorial integrity or continued existence of a state is guaranteed by the constitution. The American federal government cannot form new states or alter the borders of existing states without the consent of the states concerned. That is why the USA is described as an indestructible union of indestructible states. Moreover, the constitution, Article 4, itself declares that laws made for admission or establishment of new states, under Article 2, and formation of new states and alteration of areas, boundaries or names of existing states, under Articles 3, are not to be considered as amendments of the Constitution under Article 368. This means that such laws can be passed by a simple majority and by the ordinary legislative process. Does the power of Parliament to diminish the areas of a state, under Article 3, include also the power to cede Indian territory to a foreign country? This question came up for examination before the Supreme Court in a reference made by the President in 1960. The decision of the central government to cede part of a territory known as Berubari Union, West Bengal, to Pakistan led to political agitation and controversy and thereby necessitated the presidential reference. The Supreme Court held that the power of Parliament to diminish the area of a state, under Article 3, does not cover cession of Indian territory to a foreign country. Hence, Indian territory can be ceded to a foreign state only by amending the constitution under Article 368. Consequently, the Ninth Constitutional Amendment Act, 1960, was enacted to transfer the said territory to Pakistan. On the other hand, the Supreme Court in 1969 ruled that, settlement of a boundary dispute between India and another country does not require a constitutional amendment. It can be done by executive action as it does not involve cession of Indian territory to a foreign country. Exchange of Territories with Bangladesh The 100th Constitutional Amendment Act, 2015, was enacted to give effect to the acquiring of certain territories by India and transfer of certain other territories to Bangladesh in pursuance of the agreement and its protocol entered into between the governments of India and Bangladesh. Under this deal, India transferred 111 enclaves to Bangladesh, while Bangladesh transferred 51 enclaves to India. In addition, the deal also involved the transfer of adverse possessions and the demarcation of a 6.1 km undemarcated border stretch. For these three purposes, the amendment modified the provisions relating to the territories of four states, Assam, West Bengal, Meghalaya and Tripura, in the first schedule of the constitution. The background of this amendment is as follows. 1. India and Bangladesh have a common land boundary of approximately 4096.7 kms. The India East Pakistan land boundary was determined as per the Radcliffe Award of 1947. Disputes arose out of some provisions in the Radcliffe Award, which were sought to be resolved through the Bagay Award of 1950. Another effort was made to settle these disputes by the Nehru Noon Agreement of 1958. However, the issue relating to division of Berubari Union was challenged before the Supreme Court. To comply with the opinion rendered by the Supreme Court, the Constitution, Ninth Amendment, Act, 1960 was passed by the Parliament. Due to the continuous litigation and other political developments at that time, the Constitution, Ninth Amendment, Act, 1960 could not be notified in respect of territories in former East Pakistan, presently Bangladesh, for a two. On 16 May 1974, the agreement between India and Bangladesh concerning the demarcation of the land boundary and related matters was signed between both the countries to find a solution to the complex nature of the border demarcation involved. This agreement was not ratified as it involved, inter alia, transfer of territory which requires a constitutional amendment. In this connection, it was also required to identify the precise area on the ground which would be transferred. Subsequently, the issues relating to demarcation of undemarcated boundary, the territories in adverse possession, and exchange of enclaves were identified and resolved by signing a protocol on 6 September 2011, which forms an integral part of the land boundary agreement between India and Bangladesh, 1974. The protocol was prepared with support and concurrence of the concerned state governments of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and West Bengal.4b. Evolution of State Evolution of states and union territories Integration of princely states at the time of independence, India comprised two categories of political units, namely, the British provinces, under the direct rule of British government, and the princely states, under the rule of native princes but subject to the paramountcy of the British crown. The Indian Independence Act, 1947, created two independent and separate dominions of India and Pakistan and gave three options to the princely states with, joining India, joining Pakistan or remaining independent. 
Of the 552 princely states situated within the geographical boundaries of India, 549 joined India and the remaining three, Hyderabad, Junagadh and Kashmir, refused to join India. However, in course of time, they were also integrated with India Hyderabad by means of police action, Junagadh by means of referendum and Kashmir by the instrument of accession. In 1950, the constitution contained a fourfold classification of the states and territories of the Indian Union Part A, Part B and Part C states and Part D territories 5. In all, they numbered 29. Part A states comprised nine erstwhile governors provinces of British India. Part B states consisted of nine erstwhile princely states with legislatures. Part C states consisted of erstwhile chief commissioners provinces of British India and some of the erstwhile princely states. These Part C states, in all ten in number, were centrally administered. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands were kept as the solitary Part D territories. Dar Commission and JVP Committee The integration of princely states with the rest of India has purely an ad hoc arrangement. There has been a demand from different regions, particularly South India, for reorganization of states on linguistic basis. Accordingly, in June 1948, the Government of India appointed the Linguistic Provinces Commission under the chairmanship of SK Dhar to examine the feasibility of this. The Commission submitted its report in December, 1948, and recommended the reorganization of states on the basis of administrative convenience rather than linguistic factor. This created much resentment and led to the appointment of another Linguistic Provinces Committee by the Congress in December, 1948, itself to examine the whole question afresh. It consisted of Jawaharlal Nehru, Vallabhai Patel and Patavir Sitaramaya and hence, was popularly known as JVP Committee 6. It submitted its report in April, 1949, and formally rejected language as the basis for reorganization of states. Table 5.1 Territory of India in 1950 States in Part A States in Part B States in Part C Territories in Part D 1. Assam 1. Hyderabad 1. Ajmer 1. Andaman and Nicobar Islands 2. Bihar 2. Jammu and Kashmir 2. Gopal 3. Bombay 3. Madhya Bharat 3. Bilaspur 4. Madhya Pradesh 4. Mysore 4. Kuch Behar 5. Madras 5. Patiala and East Punjab 5. Kurg 6. Urissa 6. Rajasthan 6. Delhi 7. Punjab 7, Saurashtra 7, Himachal Pradesh 8, United Provinces 8, Travancore Cochin 8, Kach 9, West Bengal 9, Vindhya Pradesh 9, Manipur 10, Tripura. Table 5.2 Original parts of the constitution dealing with states and territories parts original heading articles covered 6 the states in part A of the first schedule 1522377 the states in part B of the first schedule 238 8 the states in part C of the first schedule 2392429 the territories in part D of the first schedule and other territories not specified in that schedule 243 however in October 1953 the government of India was forced to create the first linguistic state known as Andhra state, by separating the Telugu-speaking areas from the Madras state. This followed a prolonged popular agitation and the death of Poti Shri Remulu, a congressperson of standing, after a 56-day hunger strike for the cause. Fazlur Ali commissioned the creation of Andhra state intensified the demand from other regions for creation of states on linguistic basis. This forced the government of India to appoint, in December, 1953, a three-member states reorganization commission under the chairmanship of Fazlur Ali to re-examine the whole question. Its other two members were K.M. Panikka and H.N. Kunzru. It submitted its report in September 1955 and broadly accepted language as the basis of reorganization of states. But, it rejected the theory of, one language one state. Its view was that the unity of India should be regarded as the primary consideration in any redrawing of the country's political units. It identified four major factors that can be taken into account in any scheme of reorganization of states, a. Preservation and strengthening of the unity and security of the country b. Linguistic and cultural homogeneity c. Financial, economic and administrative considerations d. Planning and promotion of the welfare of the people in each state as well as of the nation as a whole Table 5.3 Territory of India in 1956 States Union Territories 1. Andhra Pradesh 1. Andaman and Nicobar Islands 2. Assam 2. Delhi 3. Bihar 3. Himachal Pradesh 4. Bombay 4. Lakakadev, Minikoy and Amindivi Islands 5. Jammu and Kashmir 5. Manipur 6, Kerala 6, Tripura 7, Madhya Pradesh 8, Madras 9, Mysore 10, Urissa 11, Punjab 12, Rajasthan 13, Uttar Pradesh 14, West Bengal The Commission suggested the abolition of the fourfold classification of states and territories under the original constitution and creation of 16 states and three centrally administered territories. The Government of India accepted these recommendations with certain minor modifications. By the States Reorganization Act, 1956, 
and the Seventh Constitutional Amendment. Act, 1956, the distinction between Part A and Part B states was done away with and Part C states were abolished. Some of them were merged with adjacent states and some other were designated as Union territories. As a result, 14 states and 6 Union territories were created on November 1, 1956.7 The States Reorganization Act, 1956, established the new state of Kerala by merging the Travancore, Cochin state with the Malabar district of Madras state and Kasragore of South Kenra, Dakshina Kannada. It merged the Telugu-speaking areas of Hyderabad state with the Andhra state to create the Andhra Pradesh state. Further, it merged the Madhya Bharat state, Vindhya Pradesh state and Bhopal state into the Madhya Pradesh state. Similarly, it merged the Saurashtra state and Kach state into that of the Bombay state, the Kurd state into that of Mysore state, the Patiala and East Punjab states union, Pepsu, into that of Punjab state, and the Ajmer state into that of Rajasthan state. Moreover, it created the new union territory of Lakakadiv, Minikoy and Amindivi Islands from the territory detached from the Madras state. New states and union territories created after 1956 Even after the large-scale reorganization of the states in 1956, the political map of India underwent continuous changes due to the pressure of popular agitations and political conditions. The demand for the creation of some more states on the basis of language or cultural homogeneity resulted in the bifurcation of existing states. Maharashtra and Gujarat in 1960 the bilingual state of Bombay was divided eight into two separate states Maharashtra for Marathi speaking people and Gujarat for Gujarati speaking people. Gujarat was established as the 15th state of the Indian Union. Dadra and Nagar Haveli the Portuguese ruled this territory until its liberation in 1954. Subsequently, the administration was carried on till 1961 by an administrator chosen by the people themselves. It was converted into a union territory of India by the 10th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1961. Goa. Daman and DU India acquired these three territories from the Portuguese by means of a police action in 1961. They were constituted as a union territory by the 12th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1962. Later, in 1987, Goa was conferred a statehood. Nine. Consequently, Daman and DU was made a separate union territory. Puducherry The territory of Puducherry comprises the former French establishments in India known as Puducherry, Karaikal, Mahe and Yanam. The French handed over this territory to India in 1954. Subsequently, it was administered as an acquired territory till 1962 when it was made a union territory by the 14th Constitutional Amendment Act. Nagaland in 1963, the state of Nagaland was formed then by taking the Naga Hills and Twinsang area out of the state of Assam. This was done to satisfy the movement of the hostile Nagas. However, before giving Nagaland the status of the 16th state of the Indian Union, it was placed under the control of Governor of Assam in 1961. Haryana Chandigarh and Himachal Pradesh in 1966, the state of Punjab was bifurcated 11 to create Haryana, the 17th state of the Indian Union, and the Union Territory of Chandigarh. This followed the demand for a separate, Sikh homeland, Punjabi Subha, raised by the Akli Dal under the leadership of Master Tara Singh. On the recommendation of the Shah Commission, 1966, the Punjabi-speaking areas were constituted into the unilingual state of Punjab. The Hindi-speaking areas were constituted into the state of Haryana and the hill areas were merged with the adjoining Union Territory of Himachal Pradesh. In 1971, the Union Territory of Himachal Pradesh was elevated 12 to the status of a state, 18th state of the Indian Union. Manipur, Tripura and Meghalaya. In 1972, the political map of Northeast India underwent a major change 13 thus. The two union territories of Manipur and Tripura and the sub-state of Meghalaya got statehood and the two union territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh, originally known as Northeast Frontier Agency NEFA, came into being. With this, the number of states of the Indian Union increased to 21, Manipur 19th, Tripura 20th and Meghalaya 21st. Initially, the 22nd Constitutional Amendment Act, 1969, created Meghalaya as an autonomous state, or sub-state, within the state of Assam with its own legislature and council of ministers. However, this did not satisfy the aspirations of the people of Meghalaya. The union territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh were also formed out of the territories of Assam. Sikkim till 1947, Sikkim was an Indian princely state ruled by Chojial. In 1947, after the lapse of British paramountcy, Sikkim became a protectorate of India, whereby the Indian government assumed responsibility for the defense, external affairs and communications of Sikkim. In 1974, Sikkim expressed its desire for greater association with India. Accordingly, the 35th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1974, was enacted by the Parliament. This amendment introduced a new class of statehood under the Constitution by conferring on Sikkim the status of an associate state of the Indian Union. 
For this purpose, a new Article 2-A and a new Schedule, 10th Schedule containing the terms and conditions of association, were inserted in the Constitution. This experiment, however, did not last long as it could not fully satisfy the aspirations of the people of Sikkim. In a referendum held in 1975, they voted for the abolition of the institution of Chojal and Sikkim becoming an integral part of India. Consequently, the 36th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1975, was enacted to make Sikkim a full-fledged state of the Indian Union, the 22nd state. This amendment amended the first and the fourth schedules to the constitution and added a new Article 371-F to provide for certain special provisions with respect to the administration of Sikkim. It also repealed Article 2-A and the 10th schedule that were added by the 35th Amendment Act of 1974. Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh and Goa in 1987, three new states of Mizoram 14 Arunachal Pradesh 15 and Goa 16 came into being as the 23rd. 24th and 25th states of the Indian Union respectively. The Union territory of Mizoram was conferred the status of a full state as a sequel to the signing of a Memorandum of Settlement, Mizoram Peace Accord, in 1986 between the Central Government and the Mizor National Front, ending the two-decade-old insurgency. Arunachal Pradesh had also been a Union territory from 1972. The state of Goa was created by separating the territory of Goa from the Union territory of Goa, Daman and DU. Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand and Jharkhand in 2000, Three more new states of Chhattisgarh 17, Uttarakhand 18 and Jharkhand 19 were created out of the territories of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, respectively. These became the 26th, 27th and 28th states of the Indian Union, respectively. Telangana in 2014, the new state of Telangana came into existence as the 29th state of the Indian Union. It was carved out of the territories of Andhra Pradesh. The Andhra State Act, 1953, formed the first linguistic state of India known as the state of Andhra, by taking out the Telugu-speaking areas from the state of Madras, now Tamil Nadu. Kurnul was the capital of Andhra state and the state high court was established at Guntur. The State's Reorganization Act, 1956, merged the Telugu-speaking areas of Hyderabad state with the Andhra state to create the enlarged Andhra Pradesh state. The capital of the state was shifted to Hyderabad. Again, the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, 2014, bifurcated the Andhra Pradesh into two separate states, namely, the Andhra Pradesh, Residuary, and the Telangana. Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh till 2019, the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir had its own constitution and thus enjoyed a special status by virtue of Article 370 of the Constitution of India. In 2019, this special status was abolished by a presidential order known as the Constitution, Application to Jammu and Kashmir, Order, 2019. This order superseded the earlier order known as the Constitution, Application to Jammu and Kashmir, Order, 1954. The 2019 order extended all the provisions of the Constitution of India to Jammu and Kashmir also. However, the inoperative Article 370 continue to remain in the text of the Constitution of India. Further, the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act, 2019, bifurcated the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir into two separate union territories, namely, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the Union Territory of Ladakh. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir comprises all the districts of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir except the Kargil and Leh districts which have gone to the Union Territory of Ladakh. Thus, the number of states and Union Territories increased from 14 and 6 in 1956 to 28 and 9 in 2019, respectively 20. Change of names The names of some states and Union Territories have also been changed. The United Provinces was the first state to have a new name. It was renamed, Uttar Pradesh, in 1950. In 1969, Madras was renamed 21, Tamil Nadu. Similarly, in 1973, Mysore was renamed 22, Karnataka. In the same year, Lakkadiv, Minikoy and Amindivi Islands were renamed 23, Lakshadweep. In 1992, the Union Territory of Delhi was redesignated as the National Capital Territory of Delhi, without being conferred the status of a full-fledged state, by the 69th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1991.24 in 2006, Uttaranchal was renamed 25 as Uttarakhand. In the same year, Pondicherry was renamed 26 as Puducherry. In 2011, Urissa was renamed 27 as Odisha. Table 5.4 Territory of India in 2019 States Union Territories 1. Andhra Pradesh 1. Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 2. Arunachal Pradesh 2. Chandigarh 3. Assam 3. Dadra and Nagar Haveli 4. Bihar 4. Daman and DU 5. Chhattisgarh 5. Delhi. National Capital Territory, 6. Goa 6. Jammu and Kashmir 7. Gujarat 7.
Ladakh 8, Haryana 8, Lakshadweep 9, Himachal Pradesh 9, Puducherry 10, Jharkhand 11, Karnataka 12, Kerala 13, Madhya Pradesh 14, Maharashtra 15, Manipur 16, Meghalaya 17, Mizoram 18, Nagaland 19, Odisha 20, Punjab 21, Rajasthan 22, Sikkim 23, Tamil Nadu 24, Telangana 25, Tripura 26, Uttarakhand 27, Uttar Pradesh 28, West Bengal. Table 5.5 Laws made by Parliament under Article 3 of the Constitution SL No. Acts Provisions 1. Assam, Alteration of Boundaries, Act, 1951 altered the boundaries of the state of Assam by ceding a strip of territory comprised in that state to Bhutan. 2. Andhra State Act, 1953 formed the first linguistic state, known as the state of Andhra, by taking out the Telugu-speaking areas from the state of Madras. Kurnul was the capital of Andhra State and the State High Court was established at Guntur. 3. Himachal Pradesh and Bilaspur, New State, Act, 1954 formed the new state of Himachal Pradesh by uniting the existing states of Himachal Pradesh and Bilaspur. 4. Chandir Nagore, Merger, Act, 1954 merged the territory of Chandir Nagore, a former enclave of French India, into the state of West Bengal. 5. States Reorganization Act, 1956 made the extensive changes in the boundaries of various states for the purpose of meeting the linguistic, regional and local demands. It created 14 states and 6 union territories. The states were, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Bombay, Jammu and Kashmir, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Madras, Mysore, Urissa, Punjab, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. The union territories were, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Lakakadev, Minikoi and Amindivi Islands, Manipur and Tripura. It established the new state of Kerala by merging the Travancore Cochin state with the Malabar district of Madras state and the Kasragore of South Kenra, Dakshina Kannada. It merged the Telugu-speaking areas of Hyderabad state with the Andhra state to create the Andhra Pradesh state. Further, it merged the Madhya Bharat state, Vindhya Pradesh state and Gopal state into the Madhya Pradesh state. Similarly, it merged the Saurashtra state and Kach state into that of the Bombay state, the Kud state into that of Mysore state, the Patiala and East Punjab states union, Pepsu, into that of Punjab state, and the Ajmer state into that of Rajasthan state. Moreover, it created the new union territory of Lakakadev, Minikoi and Amindivi islands from the territory detached from the Madras state. 6. Bihar and West Bengal, Transfer of Territories, Act, 1956 provided for the transfer of certain territories from the state of Bihar to the state of West Bengal. 7. Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh, Transfer of Territories, Act, 1959 provided for the transfer of certain territories from the state of Rajasthan to the state of Madhya Pradesh. 8. Andhra Pradesh and Madras, Alteration of Boundaries, Act, 1959 provided for the alteration of boundaries of the states of Andhra Pradesh and Madras. 9. Bombay Reorganization Act, 1960 formed the new state of Gujarat, 15th state, by taking out the Gujarati-speaking areas from the state of Bombay and renamed the other part of the Bombay state as Maharashtra state. The city of Ahmedabad was made the capital of Gujarat. 10 Acquired Territories, Merger, Act, 1960 provided for the merger into the states of Assam, Punjab and West Bengal of certain territories acquired from Pakistan under the agreements entered into between the governments of India and Pakistan, in 1958 and 1959. 11 State of Nagaland Act, 1962 formed the new state of Nagaland, 16th state, by taking out the Naga Hills to Insang area from the state of Assam. The Naga Hills, Twain Sound area was a tribal area of Assam specified in the 6th schedule of the constitution. 12 Punjab Reorganization Act, 1966 formed the new state of Haryana, 17th state, by taking out the Hindi-speaking areas from the state of Punjab. It also made Chandigarh a new union territory as well as a common capital for both Punjab and Haryana. 13 Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, Alteration of Boundaries, Act, 1968 provided for the alteration of boundaries of the states of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. 14 Andhra Pradesh and Mysore, Transfer of Territory, Act, 1968 provided for the transfer of certain territory from the state of Mysore to the state of Andhra Pradesh. 15 Madras State, Alteration of Name, Act, 1968 changed the name of the state of Madras to that of state of Tamil Nadu. 16 Assam Reorganization, Meghalaya, Act, 1969 formed an autonomous state, substate, known as Meghalaya, within the state of Assam. 17 State of Himachal Pradesh Act, 1970 elevated the Union Territory of Himachal Pradesh to the status of a state, 18th state. 18 Northeastern Areas, Reorganization, Act, 1971 elevated the two Union Territories of Manipur and Tripura to the status of states, 19th state and 20th state respectively. It also conferred full statehood on Meghalaya, 
21st state, which was previously a sub-state within the state of Assam. Further, it formed the two union territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh out of the territories of Assam. 19 Mysore state, alteration of name, Act, 1973 changed the name of the state of Mysore to that of the state of Karnataka. 20 Lakakadev, Minikoy and Amin Divi Islands, alteration of name, Act, 1973 changed the name of the union territory of the Lakakadev, Minikoy and Amin Divi Islands to that of the union territory of Lakshadweep. 21 Haryana and Uttar Pradesh, alteration of boundaries, Act, 1979 provided for the alteration of boundaries of the states of Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. 22 State of Mizoram Act, 1986 elevated the Union Territory of Mizoram to the status of a state, 23rd State. 23 State of Arunachal Pradesh Act, 1986 elevated the Union Territory of Arunachal Pradesh to the status of a state, 24th State. 24 Goa, Daman and DU Reorganization Act, 1987 formed the new state of Goa, 25th State, by separating the territory of Goa from the Union Territory of Goa, Daman and DU. 25 Madhya Pradesh Reorganization Act, 2000 formed the new state of Chhattisgarh, 26th state, out of the territories of the state of Madhya Pradesh. 26 Uttar Pradesh Reorganization Act, 2000 created the new state of Uttaranchal, 27th state, by carving out its territory from that of the territories of the state of Uttar Pradesh. 27 Bihar Reorganization Act, 2000 established the new state of Jharkhand, 28th state, by separating its territory from the territories of the state of Bihar. 28 Uttaranchal, Alteration of Name, Act, 2006 changed the name of the state of Uttaranchal to that of the state of Uttarakhand. 29 Pondicherry, Alteration of Name, Act, 2006 renamed the Union Territory of Pondicherry as the Union Territory of Puducherry. 30 Orissa, Alteration of Name, Act, 2011 changed the name of the state of Orissa to that of the state of Odisha. 31 Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, 2014 formed the new state of Telangana, 29th state by carving out its territory from the territories of the state of Andhra Pradesh. 32 Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act, 2019 bifurcated the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir into two separate union territories, namely the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the Union Territory of Ladakh. Table 5.6 Articles related to Union and its territory at a glance Article No. Subject Matter 1. Name and Territory of the Union 2. Admission or Establishment of New States 2A. Sikkim to be associated with the Union. Repealed, 3. Formation of new states and alteration of areas, boundaries or names of existing states, 4. Laws made under Articles 2 and 3 to provide for the amendment of the first and the fourth schedules and supplemental, incidental and consequential matters. Notes and ref.